everyone. Welcome to The Dish. I'm Anna Christina. Thank you for choosing to spend your Friday with me. I'm so excited. I, one of my favorite things to do is explore the CSRA. And we have so many wonderful restaurants in the area. And one of them just so happens to be Bull Weevil. And they have joined me on set. This is William Harrison. He's the owner. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I, fun fact, fun story. You were one of the first restaurants I visited with, well, he's now my husband, but I remember walking in to the restaurant, super unique, loved it, and I remember seeing your cakes and being like, holy moly, those are big slices that they're serving, so you're definitely going to get what you pay for. That's right, that's yeah. right. That's a, that's a good reaction. That. Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah, and so, well, tell me a little bit about your restaurant, because this is second ge generation as a restaurant, but fourth generation in that building, right? Yes, my, my grand, great-grandfather bought the building in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, he ran it as a transfer company. Yeah. My great, uh, my grandfather had it as a furniture warehouse, and then my dad turned it into a restaurant so he could hang out with his friends. And then here you are, <laughs> here running I the am. business. <laughs> here I am. I love it, and it's so great that you guys have kept it together and that you've been in that building. Now, Bull Weevil, people might think, where did you get that name from? Uh, everything downtown uh, was named after something cotton, cotton patch, yeah. cotton row, and my dad thought it would be funny to name it after a, a bug that ate cotton. Hey, hey, and listen, it worked, obviously, because you guys are still standing, and so you guys are known for, it's called the Southern Delight is the way you describe your menu. Yes. But you have a lot of different things. Today, you're making two things in particular. Tell us what we're kicking things off with. Uh, the tomato apple soup is what we're going to start with. Okay. It's a very simple tomato-based soup. Okay, um, well, can we get started on this? Sure. Now, who comes up with some of these recipes? Is it you or kind of a mix? It's, it's a mix. This one, the, the tomato apple soup, was actually my dad's claim to fame in ah. cooking. He doesn't cook anything, but this was his recipe. <laughs> but that worked. <laughs> but, and and it, it is weird, but it works. Yeah, and so, I mean, that's interesting because he just wanted to hang out with his friends. That's how the business started. Yes. But he wasn't necessarily a cook or a chef. Nope. He just loved great food. Yep. Yeah, he, he worked in the furniture business yeah. until he decided to open a restaurant. That is absolutely awesome. American dream. Okay, so let's start. Let's kick, the, kick sure. this off. We started off with some uh, carrots. Okay. And... And apple. that's kind of unique that it's apples yeah. and tomato, but it's yeah, an apple. these are uh, like a pie filling type of apple, a Fuji roasted okay. Fuji apple, mm -hmm. and really just kind of get those in there and boil them with some water. Okay. So you're, listen, does your dad know that you're giving away this recipe? <laughs> you know, we, we, we'll give it away if, yeah. if anybody wants it. We'll give it to them. Yeah, there you go. But listen, you might just want to go on over and try it off their menu because you probably won't make it the exact same. Yes. So it's okay to share it. Yes. Okay, so you got that started. Sure. And then, uh, then you add a uh, tomato paste mm -hmm. and just enough to kind of thicken it and get the tomato flavor in it. So pretty simple. Yeah, very, very, very simple. I like to keep things easy. Yeah, e easier is better. And you'll let this cook for a while, let it boil, let the carrots cook and soften, let the apples soften some more. Okay. Um, and so are you just going to mash it down or do you leave it kind of chunky? Just leave it kind of chunky. Mean, okay. It'll start, as it cooks, it'll start to, uh, to cook down and, and fall apart a little bit. It'll be a little less chunky at the end. And listen, right now is probably the perfect time to get yourself a nice cup or a bowl of soup, right? Yes. I mean, it's uh, just yeah, the it's perfect, perfect weather time. for that. And so, any other spices that you add into it, or yeah, is that literally... Um, basil, it? salt, and pepper. Okay. Basil, salt, and pepper. Wow. So, really, you're talking like six ingredients? Six ingredients. Just... If you don't include the water, maybe seven. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy to make. Now, tell me a little bit about your, your menu. What, what are some other things to expect off of that besides, obviously, the wonderful cakes? You have 30-plus to choose from. Yeah, so we have 30 cake, pies and cakes, you know, cheesecakes, uh, all of that. Uh, we do pastas, um, and we, we have a little bit of everything. Shrimp yeah. and grits. We're uh, really well-known for our shrimp and grits, which are very good. You know, I've never had grits until I moved to Georgia. Really? Yeah. Cream of wheat, I think, is a, is bigger, maybe, I don't know, in the south, in Texas. But grits, oh, I love grits now. Grits, anyway, you, I mean, you can make them. They're so good. Yes. So go and try their grits, shrimp and grits. <laughs> uh, you have to do that. So anything, I know that you guys have also a bar. Yeah. Um, full service? Full service. Uh, well, we, we have beer and wine. Beer and uh, wine. And we, we're, we have a lot of craft beer. Six, okay. 60 uh, canned craft beers. Wow. And uh, 14 beers on tap. 
Listen, you can go enjoy yourself uh, a little date night. So again, that's one of the first places I experience here in Augusta. And it kind of gave me a, a good idea. I mean, it, it is. There's so many local restaurants here that are popping up and that are unique. But yours, obviously, I, I believe is a staple of this area. Yeah. It's been here for a while. Obviously, the history behind the building. Um, and it's just unique. Yes. I love it. Yeah. And, you know, fun fact, too, another one, your manager... Yes. Rafael, he's going to be joining us a little bit later on in the show because he also has a band. Yes, he does. D does he sing there as well? Uh, they, they do a little bit of uh, open night, uh, open mic nights. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I think he'll sing anytime he gets a chance. <laughs> well, <laughs> he is going to be singing a little bit later on in the show. We're going to let this cook down, cook it up. We're going to serve another bowl for me and Jackie from Belk, who's also going to be joining us to do some taste testing, and then we're going to get into. The grown-up grilled cheese, right? That's right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more.